hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide hey sending you the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us we're blessed highly favored anchored and protected so welcome if it's your first time returning soul drivers new soul drivers thank you for your love and your support so let's get right into it we have the first scar that popped out here it says be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good so whatever romans 12 verse 21 so whatever is going on around you spirit is advising you god is saying to you be not overcome of evil it's like don't allow it to seep inside of you don't allow that darkness to get inside of you because that's exactly what the entities who are working for the other side that's exactly what they want they want you to become like them misery loves company and so yes they're looking to be able to say you see he's like us you see she's like us so do not allow evil to overcome you but instead you need to overcome evil with good just being who you are being the light being the salt again it doesn't mean that you're gonna stand up and let anybody physically do anything to you but again let them talk let them do what they're doing because time will tell but again especially when you know what people are doing don't bite the bait pretty much don't fall for it do not fall for it because it's all a trap it's a trap and so here it's like and at the back it said be not afraid of their faces for i am with you to deliver you said the lord so it's like whatever it is they're doing they want you know it's like you could have been dealing with some bullies or some people who wants to intimidate you it's it's almost like going to perform somewhere and you have this this group or certain people who wants to intimidate you so you're so nervous that you won't perform they want to probably run you away from doing something scare you but jeremiah 1 8 and so this was god telling jeremiah don't don't worry about them they're gonna say you stutter they're gonna say they're gonna come up with different things or say different things about you to again try to make you feel insecure to intimidate you but be not afraid of their faces for i am with you to deliver you said the lord i am with you and so again do not allow anybody don't allow the dark to get inside of you it's almost as if if you are a boat on a very rough sea you are fine as long as the water does not get inside of the boat so don't allow the negativity of others to spill inside of you to come inside of you let everything else around you let there be chaos people talk whatever they want to do Whatever they want to say is like, as long as you're not touching me. As long as you're not touching me in the physical. And even in the spiritual, you know you have an army who is backing you up. So don't allow anybody to, to scare you, to intimidate you from doing whatever it is that you're called to do. From doing your work. And don't allow the chatter and the negativity to affect you so that you become them because that's exactly what they want that's what they want okay and then it says here for a just man fall it seven times and rise it up again but the wicked shall fall into mischief absolutely these are mischievous people they're evil they're wicked and so whatever net whatever trap that they have been working to set for you confirmation they're going to fall in it but as for you, a just man, a just woman, a righteous man, a righteous woman, you fall down seven times and you're going to rise back up. It's like the, the saying, knock you down nine, you're going to get back up ten. Why? Because God is with you. 
And the thing is that these entities, they want to knock you out. But see, God has the final say. God has the final say. That's, that's the whole gist of it. So it doesn't matter what they are doing. They can't get you out. They can't get you out. So yes. So they are going to fall into their mischief. Whatever mess they are making or creating, they are going to fall into it. Because for a lot of these people, Proverbs 13, 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is free of life. So a lot of people could want to deny you, to delay you from accomplishing certain things, achieving certain things, from going into a relationship, a partnership. Again, holding certain things back, sabotaging you because they're hoping that by you waiting and not seeing any answer, by you working on something and it's not coming to fruition, you will get fed up and walk away. Because again, it's like hope. Where there is hope, there is faith. There's a post that I put out recently and wherever there is hope, there is miracle. So if you are be believing and hoping for a miracle and it's not happening, then you will just hiss your teeth, throw in the towel and walk away. But here we are saying when that desire cometh, it is, it is a, a tree of life. So the thing is that they want you to throw in the towel before time. Knowing that whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is you're building, you're creating, it will be something stable, something very strong, something to withstand the, you know, the, the sands of time. It's like, talk about the tree, you see the root, the structure, bring, fruit, bring forth fruits. They don't want that. It will be seen. And they don't want that. So it's like whatever it is you're doing, they want to throw a monkey wrench in it so that it look as if you're not doing anything. So you can just give up and walk away. Again, do not allow whatever they're doing, saying to affect you to the point where you start acting like them. Because that's exactly what they want. That's what they want. And be not afraid of their faces. For I am with you to deliver you. That's the promise of God. So, you know, let them knit up their eyebrow. Let them frown. Let them pout. Whatever they want to do. They can't touch you. They can't hurt you. Because God will deliver you. God is keeping a close eye on these people. You are not alone. You are not alone. And again, it doesn't matter what. This is why you may even have people coming at you, knocking you down, but you keep getting back up. And this is not you of yourself. It's because of Christ in you. It's because God wants to show these people too. Again, touch not my anointed. God wants these people, if they look a little closer, they will realize that they're messing with God. They are trying to kick against the prick. And they cannot win. They can't win and they won't win. So again, whatever it is that you're working on, you're doing, you're, you're manifesting, you're building, don't allow the delay to, to get you so frustrated so you walk away, so you give up on whatever it is that you're building because that's exactly what the enemy wants. So it's like they're working on a lot of things in order to to abort to distort your view the, these are lies these are illusions so we'll see why they're doing these things so we have here first the deceit card but again you have your guardian angels here so there's a lot of deceit a lot of people who are liars sneaky they're hiding things these are trickster spirit very manipulative and they are evil and so this is why you're asked, be not overcome with evil. Don't allow these evil people to continue to play in your face. Don't allow them to manipulate you either by telling you lies, 
by trying to scare you. They're trying to deceive you so that you fall for whatever lies that they're, they're working on. They, they, they want to trick you out of your spot. They are deceptive. Yeah, do not let evil overpower you. You overcome evil with good. Yeah. You know, again, it could have been you are in despair, sadness. Again, with the stars, it tells me like hope. You're wishing on a star. Be not afraid of their faces. It, this could be something. It's like your purpose, your destiny that you've been working on. And with the door open there, it's like there's a beautiful garden on the other side. But you see all the darkness here. These are illusions. And it's like right there at the door, you have the hands with the star right there. It's like you just need to walk through the darkness walk through the valley of the shadow of death walk through the fear it's like don't be afraid of the look on their faces you know it's like walking on stage and having all these people looking at you some of them are smiling but not everybody is going to be happy to see you it's like, don't worry about it. These people want you to feel sad, to make it seem as if what you're called to do or what you're doing or what you should be doing, it's too much. You should be afraid. You're alone. You should be sad. And this is why you're getting the affirmation, the confirmation here that God is saying, I am with you to deliver you. I am with you. It's like wherever you are going, it may look scary. It may look dark. You may have to pass some people who, and again, looks are deceiving. So they may look as if they are bad, but they're not bad. And we know that none of them can outdo God. So they may look bad, but they're not bad. It's just that a lot of them, because they're in pack, they travel in packs, their groupies, their bullies. So it seems as if they can outcome you, overcome you, but you know they can't. They can't. This is why they're weak. This is why they travel in groups. So don't be sad. Don't be upset. Don't be in despair. Have no anxiety. Because I am with you, you are not alone. Yeah, you're going to walk past people who are hissing, snakes who are growling some some dogs but at the same time i am with you do not worry about it i am with you and here we have appreciation divine helpers because you're a just man you're a just woman you fall down seven times but you're gonna get back up again the wicked they shall fall into their own mischief for a lot of you, wow, and again, the star. It's like, if you are able to do this, mm, 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 it's going to pay off. It's like she's getting a bouquet of flowers or he's getting a bouquet of flowers. And you see, you have people over there. You're going to be blessed in front of, and like I said before, not everybody in that crowd is going to be happy for you. Not everybody is going to be cheering for you. But either way, all of them, they're going to see you being rewarded, being appreciated for your effort, for your hard work. I mean, it's like, will there be any stars in your crown? Yes, it's like from heaven, you see that the stars the stars are aligned for you. It's like whatever it is that you're doing or you should be doing or living, whatever, it shall come to pass. And I'm telling you, it's again, you being so scared, so afraid, 
because a lot of people are talking about the what ifs and the naysayers and the doubters and all of those and people who are plotting and strategizing with their deceptive ways and all of this stuff, how they're going to trip you up, how they're going to make you look bad, how they're going to scare you from walking into your purpose or doing whatever it is that you're supposed to do or living the life you're supposed to live. And if you are able to ignore them, knowing that God is with you, you will be appreciated. God is going to reward you gratefully you see divine helpers you have divine helpers we have helpers who are with us and it's like even if you're scared go anyway if you're afraid go anyway and again if your dream is not big enough to scare you then it's not it's not big enough it's not worth pursuing go anyway Knock you down nine, you're going to get back up ten. Knock you down seven, you're going to get back up eight. Why? Because you're a just man. You're a just woman. You're in right standing with divine. And this is why God goes so hard for you. And this is why God is standing and backing you. And I must say, just a little plug here. I put, made some ebooks again, just with divine guidance and I know some persons were asking why don't I make certain um, information available for for the community the soul tribers and so yes I have one that's called mental toughness mental toughness and for a lot of you a lot of us yes you may listen to messages and stuff but I'm telling you and it's not because I made it but yes it is it is good i've gone through it myself and it is it is very good you know just having this unbreakable mentality where again people want to break you that do not quit attitude this it will help you to overcome obstacles i mean this is some it's it's worth investing in this is for you. It has questions in the back where you can answer just things to make you work on yourself, master yourself. And it's just designed for you so that you can navigate life toughest moments. So I certainly hope that you'll go on the website, you will check it out and you will support the, and again, it's when you purchase anything on the website, this is also you giving back. I have, you know, I buy cards. And so just you supporting the growth of the channel as well. So thank you in advance. And there are other ones, what is my purpose as well? And the other one about betrayal, which it's deep. It's very deep. I mean, yes, it's, it's, it's really good. I can tell you that much. So I hope you will check it out. All right. So definitely whatever we do for God, it will be known. It will be seen because here is like you, over, you overcame a lot of hardships here. You fall down seven times and you still rise back up. Not everybody can do that. Some people, they don't even have to fall down. They, they hit their toe and they, they give up. And it's like for you to do this, and again, it's not even you of yourself. It's, it's God that's within you. Again, it's, it's, it takes only a chosen one to be able to be knocked down and still keep, keep on going, keep on ticking. It's because God has a message too for these wicked people. And some of them, they will either change their ways or they will continue down their path because that's their destined purpose here in this lifetime. But the goal for you is that do not give up. Don't be worried about your supervisor's face. Don't, don't worry about people want you to be concerned because again, they've been in the business, the company for years. 
they are insecure, they're jealous. And so a lot of these people could be planning, strategizing different things to do and to say about you, to scare you or to scare people away from you. But in, it doesn't matter. God is saying whatever they are planning, just do not let it get inside of you. Don't let it get inside of you because then it's like somebody coming off the, coming off of the street to change the thermostat, the temperature inside of your house. You don't give up that power or, to, or anything like that to anybody. And like I said, a lot of these people, the reason why they're provoking you and they're getting in groups and when, they, when you see them, they have their face, you know, they make up their face as if rain is going to fall. They want to scare you. It's because they don't want you to get into your destiny or your purpose. They're a roadblock or they're trying to create a roadblock for you. They're a detour. They want you to turn around from where you're supposed to be. And then they can laugh and say, aha, we got them. Or if you stoop to their level, we got you. Now we are on the same level. You're not better than me. Spirit says, avoid it at all cost. And, and there is power and beauty in knowing. See, there is no temptation that is new to man or uncommon to us. And when you have been doing this life for a while, you can see the devil's plans from a mile away. You see it, you smell it, and it's like whatever. And I know sometimes people may try to, they may try to turn the temperature up. Because it's like they want to see how they can get it where they'll have you squirm and act out of, of yourself. And even so, just knowing that God is with you. And he's taking notes. Because, yes, even if you fall down, you're going to get back up. You're going to get back up. But them, when they fall down, they're going to fall into whatever mischief whatever mess, the same lies they were telling on you, they're going to, everything is going to backfire and then people are going to see them for who they are. So anything that they were trying to create for you, everything is going to blow up right in their faces. They only dig in a deeper pit for themselves. Because see, the thing is that they're hating on you and somebody else is hating on them. They're watching you. Somebody else is watching them. You understand? For a lot of you, again, this is regarding your creativity. A lot of people could be competitive. They're jealous because of your imagination. This inner child that you have, you know, it's like for a lot of you, you're very creative. You're young at heart as well. And they don't like it. That playfulness that you have. For some of you, it's about partnership and love. This is what they're trying to block and sabotage for some of you. For some of you, your creativity, your work. They're trying to create competition. Your imagination. Spirit is saying you need to maintain self-control. Again, your higher self. Get into your higher self. You know, connect with your higher self. Connect to source, to God. Like the song says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. And when you do that, the things of this earth, they will grow strangely dim. Yes, so when you focus on God, you don't have time to look around at the minions below you or beneath you. And I mean, especially when you're sincere, you best believe that God, he has your back. Confirmation, you best believe he's going to go hard for you. So a lot of these people, they have been very deceptive doing things here under the moon. For a lot of you in secret, this is what they're hiding. But again, see, you have guardian angels. This is what I'm saying is like, while they are doing things in the dark, thinking nobody's seeing it, you have your angels. And this is why God is saying, do not be be not overcome of evil don't allow the darkness to get into you we will take care of it because whatever they are doing in the dark it will come to light it will come to light and this could be 
you know, about a, a cup. People may want to bring you a false offer. They're working on things in the dark. Again, deception. They want to bring you a false offer, a false love, a false promise. But then it's all to get you thrown off course. It's like somebody wants to love bomb you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is a player and we have a Queen of Wands. So it's like these people, they want you to be in this Knight of Swords here where you're trapped in your head. I'm telling you, it's all deception. It's all lies. They want to have you stuck, defeated, exhausted, whatever. Swords talk about communication. So deception, lies, they've been spreading, been very you know scandalous a lot of slandering of your name this queen of wands here along could be working with some immature energies flighty energies so they could be you know they could want to tempt you with a love offer very lustful energy as well but it's all so they can again the goal is to sabotage you to get you thrown off your path it's, it's again, you could be in your workplace where you want to go for a higher position, right? And then you have somebody come in that don't want you to get to that higher position. So then they're trying to, to give you something, but it's less than, it's beneath that. They want you to settle. And it's like they know that if they get you committed to something else, then of course that other opportunity is going to pass you by. It's like an ex coming back, knowing that you move on, you have new love coming in. So they want to come in, you know, you see with all this red, it's, uh, it, it is so deceptive. They want to come in to give you an offer only so that they can get you caught up so that you're confused now. So you'll miss the real one when he or she comes in. So it's a lot of illusions, a lot of lies that they have been working on behind the scene. But the thing is that God is watching out for you. You have guardian angels, you are protected. So whatever lies, whatever deception that they have been working on, it's not going to work. Again, we, we see that they're going to fall. The same mischief, they're going to be exposed. And the moon also talks about trusting your intuition as well. So for a lot of you, trust your intuition. I mean, some things are just going to seem too good to be true. The timing when certain people are coming in or they're coming back into your life. It's just going to be too good to be true. Because if this is somebody who never took you out on a date, who never had the time of day for you. All of a sudden now they want to come back. And I mean, again, you probably can see that it's not, it's not good. The offer, what's in that cup, it's not worth it. So for a lot of you, it's like just waiting it out because it, it's not worth it. I'm telling you, Seven of Swords, it's a lot of deception. This is what is going under the moon. Again, deception, trickster spirit, very manipulative energies there. Yeah, the star. It's because they want to stop you. They don't want you to shine. They don't want you to get into your purpose. I can't make it up. So this is why they want to cause you despair. They're planning a lot of sneaky things, Four of Swords. You know, they want to, with the strength back here, they want to lay you to rest. It's like for a lot of you, you're too strong. You're too bold. You're too, you, you are too brave. And this is why they want to scare you. But you are strong. You see the infinity sign over your head. And again, knowing that God is with you, you do not need to be afraid. You are strong. You can do this. It's like these people want to lay you to rest. For some of you, they want you to be so sad that you stay in bed. They want to drain your energy. A lot of you, your bosses, your leaders. And this is why they want you to be sad. This is why they're ganging up on you. Oh my goodness. You're gonna have you're gonna have this four of, of ones. When I tell you you're gonna be celebrated, appreciated, 
because God is your divine helpers. God and our angels, our ancestors and guides, they're going to make sure that whatever it is, your celebration, your victory, it must and it will come to pass. It shall come to pass. These people wanted you to be in the five of cups where you're sad and, and been left out in the cold. That's what they wanted for you. Now, I'm telling you, they're going to fall in the same because see the wheel. The wheel is turning in your, in your favor. You know, it's like whatever it is for you, this page of pentacles, you are not losing sight of it. And you should not lose sight of whatever this is that God has in store for you. You see the land over there, it's, it's plowing. The harvest, you're getting ready for this. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is your destiny. This is your path. You're going to be celebrated. You're going to be seen. You're going to be in this community that God has for you. I'm telling you, whatever God has for you, it's for you. And this is why you're, you're warned here. Because people are going to want to come to try you, to test you, to tempt you, to provoke you. Do not allow the darkness to come inside of you. Walk away from trouble when you can. Walk away. Overcome evil with good. Tell them to go and heal themselves. Don't worry about their faces. Let them huff and puff. They will never blow your house down because your house is not built on sand. It's built on the, on the solid rock. Knock you down nine, you're gonna get back 10 because you're not doing this by yourself. You have God and your host with you. And in the meantime, they will fall in the same pit, the same mischief that they have been digging for themselves, okay? For Because it's for them, not you. 